My name is Mike Wynn. I'm a partner with Perpetual Advisors, and we also function as the outsource uh, chief information officer, chief digital officer, and chief technology officer for companies. The industry we specialize in is, is manufacturing CPG. Um, we do a little bit of field services, uh, 3PL, third-party logistics, uh, for uh, companies between 30 million and 250 million. What led Perpetua to, uh, to look for a new ERP for these companies is we are assisting a private equity firm in carving out multiple entities from a large organization. The major considerations were a presence of sales force, but also the fact that we really are concentrating on how to utilize the data, not only within the company, but within the ecosystem. And most of the, the organizations or most of the software out there today they have a highly fragmented use of data instead of a single platform, so the ability to extend that data in a reliable fashion and in a quick fashion to the ecosystem is harder. So the selection process was pretty straightforward. Um, we were looking for an enterprise class system that allowed us to use a single source of data. Most of the systems today, they have a highly fragmented backend from a data perspective. In today's world, in the digital world, in Industry 4.0, you really are looking to get that data to your customers and suppliers in a fast and efficient way. And having multiple repositories or multiple systems on the backend hurts that. So we were looking for a Salesforce plus a rootstock or a Salesforce on-platform system that allowed us to, to get that data to those ecosystem partners fast and reliable. What piqued our interest about Rootstock was it was an on-platform system. So we, we knew that Salesforce was going to be part of the solution, but we were also looking for a way to extend the data to the suppliers, but also a way to capture our back-end data and run our operations at the same time. So we are going to use other app exchange and on-platform solutions, and that's actually going to be part of our strategy going forward, is to, to leverage that same repository of data. Where companies usually fall down is they start to siloize their solutions and their data, which makes it harder to get that data to the places you need to get it to outside the ecosystem. And then the cost to maintain that data and get it from place to place on the back end, not only is more difficult, but it makes the data less reliable. I, I would less characterize this as a best of breed approach and more characterize it as a digital approach, leveraging the data and then on platform solutions to allow us to utilize that same data over and over. Uh, we want to be able to leverage this data and be able to extend it to the ecosystem as quickly and reliable as possible. And what we hope to achieve from this is a different way of doing business. I mean, with, with technology and the expectations of the, the next generation coming up, technology is going to be driving the business, not the business driving technology. So the ability to participate in a world where you have devices in, in IoT and in Industry 4.0 that signal across the internet to create a transaction that flows through an, uh, an ERP on the back end and then is fulfilled and then comes back out and you know then you can ship the product on the other end. That 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 requires some pretty pretty good and pretty stable, sophisticated systems. So that's what we hope to achieve is is enabling that type of digital experience.